Hey guys, the Donna Angelique. I'm here to share with you guys my experience with the ombre shaded eyebrows. I, um, and it's been a nightmare since August 19th. I treated myself to um, to have my eyebrows ombre shaded by a what I thought was a certified eyebrow tech. Um, she's a makeup artist, um, but it said that she was, she said she was certified and someone else, you know, gave her good reviews and all that good stuff. But here I am sitting here. My eyebrows were botched and it is, today is October 1st. Um, if you look closely at my eyebrows, you see that one? That's more of a round shape. You see this one? That's not round at all. It's square in the front. This one here is way back here. And this one here is here. You see where that one is? They're not even. One is round, one is square. My eyebrows have been botched. And this is something that you have to wear on your face for at least a year or two. But today is October 1st and I have to pay more money for a correction and I reached out to her and she scheduled me for a day that I totally had mixed up I sent her a message um, letting her know that I had my days mixed up and then I did apologize so I have not heard anything else from her she botched my eyebrows so today is October 1st. I am going now at 1230 to have my eyebrows corrected. Again, I will come back and film the after once I'm finished. Um, today my appointment is at 1230. So I have about 30 minutes um, before the procedure starts again. And I vowed to myself that I would never do that again. But I can't walk around like this. I am in the hair industry. And I know people look at my eyebrows and like, oh, those are not even. Or they don't say anything. They just kind of look in my face. So I'm not, there is no way I'm going to walk around like this for another two years. And the reason I did it because I don't have any eyebrow. I have eyebrows, but they're very thin. So I wanted to get something where I did not have to draw in every morning trying to look presentable. So today is the day that I get these eyebrows fixed. Be careful who you choose to do something permanently to your face because like I said this is my botched eyebrow story and I'll sh come back and share with you guys um, what they look like after they correct their, the correction um, I had to find somebody else and then pay more money so I've doubled the price that I had allotted for it was my birthday gift to me and she botched my eyebrows and it was over $300 that I paid for these. So this is my story of my botched eyebrows. So I'll come back and let you guys see the after. Um, once I'm done about 2.30, she said it'll take another two, two hours. And I, man, I have to go through this pain all over again. And I'm, I have a low pain tolerance. So a lot of people say it didn't hurt, but it did hurt me. And I didn't want to go back and do this again. I just wanted to be one and done. And if I needed a touch up in eight, nine months, I could prepare myself mentally for that. But here I am going in for a correction. LaDonna Angelique, I'll get back with you guys shortly. Bye. Hey guys, LaDonna Angelique. I am back part two. So I just left my appointment to get my eyebrows fixed so if you see the before picture and you're looking at me now you can tell there's a big difference they are dark right now but they will lighten up um and what she had to do was is how she explained it to me that she had to cover up um the old and pretty much make a correction and it was a little bit more <sighs> y'all I'm so disgusted with the first 
thing. And every time I think about it, it just costs me more money. Um, but yeah, she fixed them. And if you look at them now, they're so much more even. And they're, they're here now. They're more here than it was here. So it was like a half, a, it was either, a, it might have been a half an inch off back here on my eyes. So I'm going to post the before and after picture um, side by side when I upload the video. But yeah, <sighs> thank God for people that really know what they're doing. And, and you try to patronize your, you know, you try to patronize people that comes you know reference to you as opposed to jumping out there and just finding anybody but now i know i found anybody um even if, if it was a reference you know what i'm saying people will say they can do this and they do that and they certify it, but really are you and then you don't want to you know make good on your mistake you know i'm just so disgusted but anyway this is the correction right here this is the correction and she did her very best i mean she did her best we started at 12 30 it's now 3 30 and i just only been in the car a couple of minutes so yeah i'm leaving now okay guys i'll talk to you soon Madonna angelique bye Hey guys, LaDonna Angelique coming in to, um, today is November the, uh, what is today? Today is November 6th. So you guys, I was supposed to come back and do a day five and a day 10, but I had gotten really, really busy. Um, and I could, I, for, I kept forgetting to, to record. And then I thought I was recording and it didn't record. So this is November 6th. Um, as I said before in my video, uh, before the, the clip before, um, August 19th to October 1st. Yeah, October 1st. I had my eyebrows ombre shaded. So, um, as you see in the other clip, this is November 6th. So, from October 1st to November 6th, that's a month and five days. So, this is what we're looking looking like now. And don't mind my face. I just got off from work and I've had that mask. I think my face is forming like the mask. So, anyway, we're not here for the mask. We're here for the eyebrows. So, these are what they healed to. I still think they are just a tad bit too dark. Um, I'm supposed to go back in six weeks and do a, um, I guess she said it was a refresher or freshen them up. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to let them lighten up as much as possible because when I have on my, um, other wigs that have color in it, um, it seems tends to make my eyebrows look super, super, super dark. So what I've been doing is putting this eyebrow, um, brown eyebrow gel on it just to make them look a little bit lighter when I have my light colored hair on. Um, but so I switched to this curly wig because it's black and I was trying to balance it all out so I didn't look crazy. I took my eyelashes off earlier because I, I actually been home for a while. And then I went out and I'm back in the car. So I just wanted to film this before um, so I can go ahead and upload it uh, so you guys can see. So this is my eyebrows from October, for, the correction from October 1st to now November 6th. Um, but if you go back and... You know, I, it, this all started August 19th. My birthday was August 20th. It was a birthday treat to me. It was messed up all the way. And I had to go back and get a correction. So this is what they look like. I'm much, much happier with the form. Um, But I still think they... Let me turn this light off and see. 
Lord. Okay, so that might be too dark. I'm gonna turn the light back on. But anyway, um, I still think they're a little too dark. So I have about another week before I make a decision if I'm gonna go. Getting my eyebrows touched up, and it hurts like hell. But anyway, I'll check back in with you guys. I'll insert a couple of these pics. Talk to you guys soon. Well, Donna and Jalik. Come on. See, I told my husband you should get in that business because mm -hmm. you know he's an engineer and he um, he worked for the car companies. Uh,